Well, this takes us over to the dev discussion, which is drop rarity. And how do you feel when it comes to rare loot? Do you prefer when rare mobs and boss mobs drop something interesting often or less often? Oh, that's a weird way to word that question. Yeah. When they drop something interesting. I mean, I will say personally, and I know I know this isn't popular. Um, I like when when items feel special. And so I like I'll give you a good example. I, I, man, we're gonna we're just gonna tell Ultima Online stories today. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy. I, I still I had. He's still a buddy. Um, <clears throat> hardcore in Ultima Online. God, he played that all the way to like. 2008 or 2009 like warcraft had well been out and had a couple expansions that he was still playing ultima online um but back way back in the early days of ultima online when they actually had live gms who were like doing things on the server to like make things happen create content mm -hmm. they had this town and i can't remember the name of the town i want to say it was like hope or something like that so it had some kind of a positive name like that um he had it be attacked by beholders and there was literally hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of beholders uh, like covered all over this town. It was just on this one server. Other servers didn't experience this. It was a, a single event that happened on that server. And my buddy got together and he got a whole bunch of people together and organized this raid. And over like a seven or eight day period, he was like, he didn't do anything but eat, sleep, and organize this group to push back against this beholder invasion and he actually did it and they pushed all the beholders out of it and got rid of you know freed up the town or whatever and they gave him a sword that it was literally the only sword in the entire game like it there was no one else had another sword like that wow it was only his because huh. of his, the, the the gms gave him that as a reward for for organizing this defense um and I, I like I still remember that story. I don't remember the story about any other piece of gear <laughs> that anybody's ever gotten. You know what I mean? But I remember that one. Um, and so I, I would love it if if the truly rare stuff was was like that was was actually rare, rare instead yeah. of the word rare me just meaning not not common or uncommon. You know, right? Actually rare. That that's what I would want to say. So I guess less often would be. Um, would be my answer, but I, I think I like it. Like you were kind of getting at it, it being dependent on the type. Mm -hmm. So if it's rare, more rare. If it's uncommon, it's a little uncommon. Common, super common, etc. Like yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm um, I'm kind of on that same board. Um, I like the RNG to be there and exist when it comes to mm -hmm. setting a certain percentage that this type of item or this uh rarity of items should be dropping and kind of stick with it and make sure that rare means something and yeah. epic means something and legendary means something right like not just because it's legendary in power but there's 790,000 of them in existence but like legendary like there, there are legends told about this thing and few have actually seen it let alone mm -hmm. touched it let alone wielded it right like that right. type of thing um yeah now the one gripe i've had with a lot of games is the uh the rng gets too involved and you are say running around as a, a rogue just trying to get some rogue gear but everybody else keeps getting gear like plate and cloth but you just can't get leather to drop to save your life no matter how many times you kill anything Mm -hmm. And I really like when, when games kind of give a little bit for everybody to be able to use. But I think Ashes might be solving that with crafting being the best, some of the best gear out there. Right. Um, and if they're just dropping materials that you can craft into anything, it's fantastic. So my take on it is it would be cool to have like a mixture. So imagine artisan class, right, going back to that whole idea. What if the more rare item is like the actual recipe? And the more common is like a part of a recipe. So you have a likelihood of getting more pieces of a, a part of a recipe that you can then put together. Um, but the rare that you would get the actual recipe itself to drop already together. Something like that I think could be cool. Mm -hmm. um, but also, please, for the love of all that is holy in Vera, do not <laughs> make it. So if I have to grab 30 pelts, I have to kill like 90 mobs because even though I am killing all of the mobs with pelts, 
they're still not dropping pelts. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> that was really irritating in um, like World of Warcraft Outlands where you have to grab the zebra hooves, basically. Oh my gosh. Yes. You and know what? Ev everything should drop it. It's just a matter of yes. quality, right? <laughs> like, yes. Is it a damaged pelt or is it a good one? Like drop at yes. least a damaged one for crying out loud. Good old barons, right? No. Oh. <laughs> Actually, there, there's a... I, this is a problem that I've been trying to solve in my head for a long time because I, I understand the the ramifications or the problems of the flip side of this problem. But I'm going to use Fallout 76 as an example. I don't know if any of you guys ever played that one. Um, or if you, really, if you played Fallout 4, it has the very similar system where... where uh, not even what they're called the unique creatures i forget what they're called the name mm -hmm. creatures um drop random loot and it's totally random it could it could be a a, a pistol or a, a rifle or a rocket launcher or whatever and it has a different legendary effect on it and because of that randomness like literally the entire game at Endgame was running around trying to find the the creatures that dropped the loot. I can't remember. I can't believe that I can't remember their names right now, but um, <laughs> trying to find them to get legendary loot and hoping that you get decent rolls to create an item that that works well or whatever. And the people who, who have succeeded are just mowing stuff down like crazy and you're struggling to kill one thing because you haven't succeeded in just pure random chance and so I, I hope that they would find a way to have it where you can't template a class by knowing exactly what drops where and where you're going to get every single stat from so that before you start the game you already know every level what thing you're going to go kill to get what piece so that you can be templated but also make it where it's not just randomly running around hoping that something that you can use drops so like, yeah. you got to find that balance yeah Mr. Valentine says, so is the disparity having legendary items be rare and powerful when it comes to PvP, is that advantage worth it to anyone facing it, or is that the point? Yeah. I'll pull it up you on know, the screen so people can read it. Interesting. Oh, I got it. I got it pulled up. Okay, I was cool, already going to share that one. We're cool. Yeah, so on the same wavelength and everything. Same wavelength. <laughs> Love it. But uh, yeah, I think that's kind of the point is if you were to roll up onto a big PvP battleground or into like a, a node siege, right? And you see so-and-so with the mystic armor of the whatever the thing is. And it's this very distinct framing profile and it has like a whatever glow or something to it. And you see it, and then everyone's going to be talking about it. Oh my gosh, we got Zillin, uh, Zillin with the the armor of the whatever that thing was. Armor of the villain. He's out there. We got We got to focus fire on him, and it's going right. to be like a key focal point of it. Um, and maybe not to the overpowering degree that you can like walk up and like knock down a, a node gate or something. Like maybe not that powerful, but it's going to be enough to to make people notice you and stand out. And then you know right. what? Yeah. Is that extra power really going to benefit you if everybody's going to target you for having it? Yeah, yeah it doesn't make you a target. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Risk versus reward. I mean, being reward. support makes you a target too. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I remember way back in, in 2001, the launch of Dark Age of Camelot. I was there on launch day for that game. And if you don't know about that game, the main feature of it is that there's three different realms and those three realms have a center point where they can fight over keeps and castles and stuff like that so it's very pvp involved very siege involved and i want to say like on the fourth day of that game or something like that um i went out into the the realm versus realm area what they call the rvr area mm -hmm. and there was one guy who I, I like he must have just not slept or something and he was like level 29 and everybody else was like 24 25 out there and so he was just a few levels higher and back, back even even today dark age of camelot the level disparity disparities are really big like one level is a lot and two levels are real a lot a lot you know and so he, he was a fur bog which was a a, a class that, that you have in that game and he had red hair and he was wearing green armor like i remember this guy i remembered his name for years but i've forgotten his name now but like he terrorized the battlefield in that game for 72 hours or whatever until everybody started to catch up with him or whatever but he he grinded hard enough to get a few levels on everybody and just destroyed everybody for like i said oh, a, a little while or whatever and i still remember that and when i think back about memories of like things that i actually remember that's one of them and so yeah they're getting getting some sword that wrecks everybody for for a little while until other people start catching up with you that's great i would love to see that <laughs> 